The album's been recorded over about two and a half years and during some time that I've gone through kind of a lot of emotional um, sort of turmoil in my life and I've come out of it at the other end. So I think the overall feeling of the music is quite positive and it's quite, it's quite strong. It's got, I like to think it's got lots of attitude and lots of like, well I've been through the mangle, you know, and I'm out the other end and um, I've survived and um, I'm sort of stronger and better and more positive than ever, you know. With a song like it adored and explored the new single that's about kind of finding yourself down and out in the gutter you know with nowhere to go and suddenly you kind of you claw your way out of that and reach for the stars it's like one minute you know um, you can be downtrodden and next minute um, you're this star that everybody wants to interview and find out about and you become somebody that nobody looks at twice to becoming almost like a sex symbol or a you know um, like, like emerging like a butterfly and then the track like the idol the idol for example is is, is about the, the ultimate kind of pop star all gone wrong you know it's all gone kind of horribly wrong and kind of what happens to kind of pop stars and how we how we always want them to kind of live our traumas for us and to be and we, we build them up and knock them down we like to see them you know built up to the stars and then we kind of like to then we like to knock them down and see them fall so it's very kind of um, a sort of twisted look at, at stardom really. And if one day I should become a singer with a Spanish bum who sings for women of great virtue, I'd sing to them with a guitar I borrowed from a coffee bar. Well, what you don't know doesn't hurt you. My name would be Antonio, and all my bridges I would burn. When I'd give them some, they'd know I'd expect something in return. I'd have to get drunk every night and talk about virility with some old grandmother that might be decked out like a Christmas tree. And no pink elephants I'd see, though I'd be drunk as I could be. I'd sing that song they sang to me about the time they called me Jackie. If I could be for only an hour, if I could be for an hour every day, if I could be for just one little hour, cute in a stupid ass way. Anybody who works with a major label and says they do not compromise is a liar because there's always a certain amount of compromise that, um, that goes on, you know, I think, but I think I, I, I'm always, it's always, I like that battle and that struggle to be able to do what I want in the, the confines of a major label. And that's what fuels me, you know, I love the battle and I love the fight and I, I, that's, that's great, that, that, that gives me energy, I think, to be able to do the music, whether it's, you know, pop music or whatever you want to call it, um, that, that, that I feel true, that I feel true to. But I also think that there's, it's very easy to be kind of, to have musical snobbery and say the ch charts are full of shite, you know, because <laughs> I think, you know, I mean, I don't know, I, I think we're living in a time where there's a lot of really good varied music and I see a lot of good things sort of getting in the charts, you know, of course you know, there's, you know, there's, you know, you're sort of, um, I, I don't want to name names because I think that's not really fair, you know, and, um, but there's certain records in the charts that are very manufactured records, they're very throwaway records, but I think that's what pop's all about as well. That's all part of it, and I think you need that. The whole kitsch side of things, the kitsch throwaway trash pop, is something like in about, you know, 
records of the kitchen trash now and we're all laughing about it. In 10 years' time, we'll all be digging things, oh, they'll really, be really cool and be really fantastic and we'll all say how we all love them and they're super kitsch. And I think that's what pop's all about. And if I joined the social world, became procurer of young girls, then I could have my own board, My records would be number one and I'd sell records by the turn all sung by many other fellows. My name would then be Handsome Jack, and I'd sell boats of opium, whiskey that came from Twickenham, authentic queens and phony virgins. I'd have a bank on every finger, and every finger, and every country, and every country ruled by me. I just don't know where I want to be. Locked up inside my opium den, surrounded by China men. I'd sing a song that I sang then about the time they called me Jackie. If I could be for only an hour, if I could be for an hour every day, if I could be for just one little hour, cute in a stupid ass way. When I first um started with Soft Cell, there would obviously be a, a group of people that would follow us round and they'd always be there at the front of the stage. Um, crammed up against the front of the stage. Now those are the people that are sitting at the back, you know, and, they've, and they're married, and they've got a kid, maybe, and they're sitting at the back where it's more comfortable now, and they can kind of watch from, from, from afar, and their place has been taken by other people that have come along. And I've, I've been lucky in that respect, that I've had a very cross-section of audience. And um, when I played at the... Uh, I, I did a showcase show at the Albert Hall a, a couple of years back, it was very interesting to see that, that cross-section of audience, you know, from all different kinds of people that all, that all come together, from the, the mums who would like something's got a hold of my heart, to the, um, the more sort of gothic or punk fans that, had, that maybe liked, liked another part of my music, to the Jacques Brel fans and, the, you know, the, the glam fans, and um, that had liked different things that I'd done, you know, as well as the old sort of soft cell crowd and, you know, and, Things. So that for me was very interesting seeing different people. Love a spurred, a lesson learned on love you got. Your fingers burned, said bitter tears. Now love has turned the sweet revenge. stars are almost becoming like like dinosaur breed in a way you know and maybe I think there's always a need for icons of stars of some sort you know whether it's a football star or whether I think we need there's, there's a need in a way to project our hopes and wishes and dreams on some figure you know we, we wish this would happen to us we and, and then and then as I said before we like to build them up and we like to see them fall, you know, when they have their drug overdoses and their car crashes and their, you know, their, 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 fall, their fall from grace. We, we love that and we kind of revel in, in, in that darkness because that's the dark side of our nature, I think. But whether pop stars, I think maybe it's because, it's because the nature of pop has maybe changed and a, 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 a lot. It's, you know, rec people don't feel as special about records and, anymore. You know, we have the CD, we have the... Re as I say, it's the disposable society where we, we don't have the one song anymore. We have 20 remixes of the song. We have... The s CDs aren't as precious as, as records were. Um, you know, they'll probably take that, fans, will probably totally dis disagree, disagree with me. You know, they have their, their icons of, of today and their... So, and, and maybe, you know, maybe people are finding other interests like, you know, computer games, <laughs> skateboarding, rollerblading, and, and, and pop's not become maybe, maybe as special and as important as it was. <laughs> I'm 
trying to think why I started in the film. I suppose in a way, it's kind of in a way that what Adored and Explored is about. It's kind of, you know, you find yourself kind of kind of downtrodden in a way, and you want to kind of, to, to be successful because it's a kind of, it's, it's a revenge as well on all the people at school who kind of put you down and they kind of wrote you off and things like that, and you become, success is, is, is a revenge and I, I think that's, that, that's a driving force I think in a lot of performers you know as well as this desire to be kind of loved and adored. falling down and I've clawed my way up again and I've sometimes been incredibly self-destructive and knocked the entire sort of pack of cards down myself by, by my own making and then I've had the pleasure of starting again and and, and, I, and I think you've either got it in you or, or, or you haven't. At the, at the end of the day what stands up is, is the music that you make, the records that you make, um, the, you know, the heart and soul that you put into them and that's what people appreciate and they listen to and they hear that at the end of the day and whatever you, you know, whatever the mistakes that, that you make, that's what's going to stand up at the end. And I do, you know, and, and I, I don't know what else I do. I, I do love being creative. I do love writing and, and working with people. I love being in studios and I love the joy of that first time of you demo a song for the first time. You know, you write a new song and you've come up with a new idea. And at the same time, I've learned not to be precious about it as well, because, because we live in the, in the 90s where things are rehashed and recycled and the age of the remix, when somebody will take a sample of my voice and make a 12-inch single of it, you know, and, and the song's gone. But it's a whole new level, it's a whole new idea, and it's a new thing. And that's part of the, the initial kind of, the initial spark that it started from. And so I love all that as well. I love the rehash and the retread and the um, recycle. Of, of music that happens now. It's time to be a door and explore. So you wanna be a door and explore. And you're gonna be a door and explore. So come on and be a door and explore. For downtrodden years You're an undiscovered land Unexplored by man Open your mind Leave it all behind It's all there to find In the Dubai mind Unconventional child You ran too wild Now it's written in the sky You'll emerge as the butterfly As the butterfly So you wanna be a door And explore And you're gonna 